The James Webb Space Telescope has recently captured something that has ignited imaginations and renewed curiosity across the globe. Unusual, persistent lights that appeared to shine from a point in space just over four light years away. These lights, unlike the typical cosmic glow of stars or galaxies, seem almost artificial, resembling the glow one might associate with a city seen from orbit at night. The source? Proxima Centauri b, the closest known exoplanet to our solar system. What the telescope recorded were mysterious bright flashes emanating from the planet's dark side, sparking excitement among astronomers and deepening the conversation around the possibility of extraterrestrial civilizations. Proxima Centauri b has long been considered a candidate in the search for life beyond Earth. Orbiting within the habitable zone of its red dwarf star, Proxima Centauri, the planet is close enough for liquid water to potentially exist on its surface, a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. But these recent observations have added an entirely new layer to our understanding. The lights recorded appear to flicker and shift in a way that does not conform to natural astrophysical phenomena. Some scientists suggest they could be the result of artificial illumination, an extraterrestrial version of city lights. While it's too early to draw definitive conclusions, the implication is profound. If proven true, this would mark the first direct evidence of intelligent life beyond Earth. Astronomer David Kipping of Columbia University expressed both skepticism and intrigue. He described the surface of Proxima Centauri b as unusually complex in terms of its light emissions. Unlike typical rocky planets that absorb sunlight and re-emit energy in predictable infrared patterns, this planet seems to exhibit light behavior that deviates from expectations. This anomaly could be due to the planet's tidal locking with its star, meaning one side constantly faces the star while the other remains in perpetual darkness or it could be due to atmospheric, geological, or possibly artificial sources of light. One reason the James Webb Space Telescope was able to pick up such subtle variations is its unmatched sensitivity to infrared wavelengths. This allows it to effectively peer through cosmic dust and analyze distant objects with extraordinary clarity, especially in regions of space that remain hidden from traditional optical telescopes. Because the supposed lights were found on the planet's night side, where sunlight shouldn't reach, researchers are paying close attention to whether the signals are artificial in origin or caused by some unfamiliar natural phenomenon. The behavior of Proxima Centauri b's surface temperatures provides another fascinating aspect of this investigation. If the planet has no atmosphere, the temperature differences between its day and night sides would be extreme, scorching hot on one side and frigid cold on the other. However, the presence of atmospheric gases could moderate this difference. If the night side still emits warmth and light, it suggests some heat distribution mechanism, possibly through winds, oceans, or even artificial heating. That's why understanding the planet's atmosphere is crucial. If we can confirm the existence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, or methane, especially in combinations indicative of biological activity, we may be witnessing the first signs of habitability beyond our world. Further analysis of Proxima b's atmosphere is ongoing. Scientists are focusing on its chemical composition, using spectral analysis of the light that passes through or reflects off the planet's atmosphere. The James Webb Telescope excels in detecting molecules like water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide, although it struggles with detecting free oxygen, another vital biosignature. Nonetheless, if ozone is detected, an indirect indicator of oxygen, it could further suggest a stable and life-supporting environment. The telescope's orbit and viewing capability are also crucial in this study. Proxima b completes an orbit around its star every 11.2 Earth days, allowing the James Webb Space Telescope to observe its atmospheric cycles frequently. These repeated observations offer a more complete picture of its climate and possible surface conditions. If the lights persist or change over time in ways that suggest intentional design, such as seasonal patterns or grid-like distribution, the case for intelligent life strengthens. Even with all of this progress, however, there are still limitations. The James Webb Telescope, while extraordinarily advanced, can only observe a finite number of nearby exoplanets in this level of detail. 
That's why astronomers are eagerly awaiting the arrival of even more powerful observatories, such as the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, expected to begin operations in 2028. The ELT, being ground-based and equipped with advanced adaptive optics, will offer even greater resolution in studying exoplanet atmospheres and surface characteristics. Scientists hope that with it, they can conduct deeper and more precise investigations into planets like Proxima Centauri b. In addition to ground-based telescopes, the future of space observation will likely depend on revolutionary technologies designed to block out starlight and isolate the light from exoplanets. One such innovation is the coronagraph, a device that sits inside a telescope and blocks out the overwhelming light of a star, enabling the much dimmer light of nearby planets to be seen. Another concept, the starshade, involves a spacecraft shaped like a flower petal that flies tens of thousands of kilometers ahead of a telescope, blocking starlight before it even enters the lens. Together, these innovations could make the direct imaging of Earth-like planets a reality. These technologies, however, are not easy to deploy. They require extraordinary precision. A misalignment of even a few millimeters between a telescope and its starshade, separated by vast distances in space, could ruin an entire observation. Moreover, the demands of space, temperature extremes, radiation, and limited power, mean these systems must be both rugged and efficient. Yet despite these challenges, the reward is immense. Successfully imaging an exoplanet in detail, analyzing its light spectrum, and identifying biosignatures like methane, ozone, or water vapor could provide the first real evidence that we are not alone. In addition to looking for alien cities, future missions may go even further, mapping surface features, analyzing weather systems, and detecting seasons on alien worlds. If adaptive optics can be paired with high-resolution imaging and star-blocking devices, it may be possible one day to see the surface of an exoplanet with clarity rivaling the view we have of the moon. From there, we may discover continents, oceans, ice caps, even vegetation signatures from orbit. These observations could forever change how we view ourselves in the universe. What makes all of this especially exciting is that it's not science fiction, it's science in progress. Right now, powerful observatories are scanning the skies. Teams of scientists are studying every flicker of light, every spectral anomaly, every temperature shift in hopes of finding something that will alter our understanding of reality. The recent discovery of mysterious lights on Proxima Centauri b has only deepened our resolve. Whether these lights prove to be cities or natural phenomena, they represent a significant leap forward in our journey to answer humanity's most ancient question. Are we alone? As the exploration continues, so does our imagination. The possibility of other civilizations, other forms of life that have developed technology, culture, or even beliefs, captures our sense of wonder. It forces us to consider not just how rare life might be, but how common. In the end, whether we find intelligent life on Proxima Centauri b or not, the search itself is a reminder of how far we've come, and how much further we can still go. For more discoveries like this, stay connected with Spayloop as we explore the most mysterious and fascinating corners of our universe.